Back in 1984, when William Gibson released his first novel, Neuromancer, the idea of cyber hackers lurking online was more of science fiction than reality. In the book, he introduced the concept of a cyberspace, calling it a consensual hallucination experienced daily by billions of legitimate operators in every nation by children being taught mathematical concepts. Now, there's always been something a bit cool, almost romantic, about the idea of rebels sneaking around inside the internet. But the truth is, the tug of war between the people who build apps and the criminals who try to break them has never been more intense. Thanks to tech advancements like AI and the constant rise of new threats, app security is changing fast. Now, let's take a look at five trends that are set up to shape the future of app security coming this year. Now, first up is artificial intelligence. Uh, artificial intelligence, or AI, is becoming the norm across the tech world, especially in cybersecurity. AI tools can sift through massive amounts of data and spot anomalies or potential threats in real time. Plus, since they're machines, they can work around the clock, boosting both the speed and accuracy of threat detection. But here's the flip side. AI isn't just available to companies. Hackers use it too. And that raises the stakes. With AI and machine learning, they can cause even more damage than ever before. And the scary part, one person with access to AI could have the power to disrupt online data or even entire infrastructures. Another trend that's gaining traction is DevSecOps. It's basically about building the security right into the development process, instead of treating it like an afterthought. These days, more software is being hosted in the cloud using virtual devices and microservices, which is great for flexibility, but comes with, with new security challenges. Sure, network traffic can be rerouted or redirected if there's an issue, but the real danger lies in tampering with the application itself, especially when it's processing data. That's why developers need to start thinking like hackers. And seriously, hiring white hat hackers to test your applications before they go live is one of the smartest moves you can make. It's better to find and fix vulnerabilities early than to deal with the fallout later. Now, by doing this, companies can save time, cut costs, and release software that's way more secure from the get-go. APIs, or application programming interfaces, are the backbone of how businesses share data, power mobile apps, and connect to third-party services. They're super important but they're also a prime target for attackers. APIs provide a direct route to sensitive data and critical business processes, which makes securing them absolutely essential. The problem is, if an API isn't secured or it's poorly designed, it can become an easy target. To think about the, uh, the 2019 Facebook API data leak. Millions of user records were exposed because of weak security controls. Now, that's a perfect example of how things can go wrong fast. To keep sensitive data safe, businesses need to stay on top of API security. This means regularly updating and monitoring APIs, uh, encrypting data while it's being transmitted, limiting the number of requests to prevent abuse, and uh, logging activity to spot anything suspicious. Now, this year, we're likely to see more companies adopting dedicated API security solutions. APIs are just too important to ignore, and protecting them will continue to be a top priority. Zero trust is built on a straightforward idea, never trust, always verify. It flips the old way of thinking on its head, where anything inside a network was assumed to be safe. Instead, Zero Trust treats every user, device, and application with skepticism, no matter where they're located or what their access history is. In a Zero Trust model, nothing is taken at face value, not even users or devices already inside the network. Every access request gets thoroughly checked using tools like multi-factor authentication, endpoint security scans, and strict access controls. Uh, this approach drastically cuts down on unauthorized access and makes it hard for malware breaches to spread throughout a system. Now, with the rise of remote work, uh, cloud services, and IoT devices, the old idea of a secure network perimeter just doesn't hold up anymore. Firewalls and VPNs alone can't really handle today's sophisticated cyber attacks. That's where Zero Trust comes in. It assumes every interaction could be risky and verifies each one in real time. It's like having a security checkpoint for every door ensuring no one gets in without proving they belong. Quantum computing is on the verge of revolutionizing industries, but it's also a big threat to current cybersecurity systems. Its sheer power could make traditional encryption methods like RSA and ECC useless, putting sensitive data at serious risk. Some cyber criminals are already playing the long game using a harvest now, decrypt later strategy where they capture encrypted data now and plan to crack it once quantum technology catches up. To address this, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or the NIST, released Quantum Safe Encryption Standards last August. Now, these guidelines are a huge step towards securing data in a quantum-powered future. 
Now, getting ready for this shift means figuring out which data will need protection for the next five to even 20 years, starting the move to quantum safe encryption and staying flexible as the technology evolves. By taking the proactive steps now, organizations can stay ahead of quantum threats and keep their sensitive information secure. We may never be able to protect ourselves from every single digital threat out there, but that doesn't mean we should let our guard down. To stay safe, we have to keep at least one step ahead. It's just the reality of living in an online world. Uh, sure, it's frustrating that it has to be this way, but accepting these challenges helps us prepare for them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. And let us know in the comments what you're doing this year to keep your digital life safe and secure.